areas for the South Beach. Um, if you come after 6 p.m., these bays here are all free, but during the day you've got meter parking. And if you're coming here for sort of anything over seven, eight hours, it's going to cost you eight quid. So it's a little bit pricey, but if there's two of you, it's not so bad. Um, and literally, access to the beach is just there. 150 yards straight over the top, and you're on the beach. So convenient. If you're doing an evening session, get here just before six. It's free park until eight in the morning. So we've got plenty of on-street parking there. Got a little cafe over there. Feeling a little bit peckish before you go fishing. So I'm going to move up to the main um, car park by the Premier Inn and, and have a look there and see what the access is like. So this is the other car park. It's, it's down as the Pleasure Beach car park. I think when someone's in that kiosk over there, it's like six quid a day. But now we're moving out of season, they don't seem to have anyone in the kiosk. So here's your parking. There's the access straight through there onto the beach. So I'm just going to go and get my ticket now. Get some gear on, get down on the beach. Okay, firstly welcome back. It's been a while. Uh, with one thing and another, mainly the fishing conditions uh, and the state of the beaches. I haven't really done a lot of bait fishing since May, so I've been waiting for a sort of better day and specifically for the school holidays to finish so that everywhere quietens down a bit. And that's what's happened today. So we're just about second week in September and we've had a few sort of cooler days now, the, hot, the real hot weather's gone. So the plan was to come down today and start back on the guides uh, and due to the fact that the North Norfolk coast is absolutely swamped with weed at the moment, I've decided to come round onto the East Coast and I've picked Yarmouth South Beach today to make a start. Now when I got up this morning and opened the curtains, it was nice and cloudy, overcast, a few spits of rain, I thought great. I swung the gear in the car, so by the time I got down the uh, Acre Strait, the sun had popped its head out and it's now quite, quite warm again. But still, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll give it a go today. The sea conditions are not too bad, a little bit of colour, which is nice. North Norfolk beaches have been very clear. And the only thing it's really been good for all summer is bass fishing or mackerel fishing. The rest of the bait fishing has been pretty disappointing really, so yeah. So the decision, because of the weed, I decided to come round onto the uh, east coast. And looking at it today, doesn't look a bad bet. There's not too much on the, on the edge of the beach. Uh, this is only the first cast going out now, so we'll see what happens during the session. High tide today is in about 25 minutes, and it puts it at about 11 o'clock. So I've just had, got enough time to get here set up on the high tide line, and I'm gonna fish it from the top right down to the bottom, which is the normal for this, for this beach, South Beach. So with that in mind, I'll get the rods set up now, have a couple of little practice casts, get some rigs ready, bait up, and get back to you as soon as I'm fishing. Okay, what I've done now is I've quickly set up one rod. I've brought me any fish anywhere pros today, and what I've just done with that, put a reel on it. I've had a quick cast for, uh, to wet the line, and then I've banged one out with this wind, which is over the right hand shoulder. Banged it out, it's gone out a hell of a long way. What I'm going to do now is just see how far that pulls round and whether there's any weed. The good news at the moment is, looking at the beach, it is fairly clear there's virtually no weed at all so touch wood we're not going to get plagued with that today so i've quickly st stuck a shelter up to get a little bit comfortable and get everything organized so say that first rod's out uh, i cast virtually straight out and it's just pulled a little bit to the right at the moment so i'll give that five minutes while i'm sorting out a few rigs target species today well you've always got the chance of, of a late smooth hound here conditions don't look too bad at all really water's got a little bit of color in it it's not too rough I would assume there's also be a chance of a ray in these conditions they do come off of here um, 
inevitably I would have thought we might get the start of the uh, onslaught of the whiting as well. Uh, flounders, dabs, maybe a dogfish. But um, what I'll be hoping for today, I'm going to put one rod specifically out for a ray with fish baits, and the other rod I'll put a two hooked clipped rig on there, slightly smaller hooks, and just see what I can, if I can catch whatever's out there. Okay, I've had a little test cast, as I say. The first cast, or the test cast, came back, very little weed round, little, just a little blob on the uh, laser knot, uh, nothing on the lead. So what I've done now is gone, got the rig ready. First rig I'm putting out is a straight fixed pattern oster. And with rays in mind, I've baited that up with an anchovy and squid rat. Now, anchovy, was recommended to me way back in, 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 in the summer when we were looking for rays. And I bought some, put them in the freezer and forgot all about them. But when I've opened up the freezer yesterday to have a look at my baits, they're absolutely in mint condition. I'd put them inside um, a sealed container within another sealed container. So they've been completely uh, protected, full of oils, supposed to be a very good ray bait. So I thought I'd give them a go today. The other rig, once I get it set up, it's going to be a two hook clip and I'll fish traditional baits on there like I'll probably put some black lug on tip with a bit of squid and maybe a strip of mackerel or a strip of squid on the other hook just to see what I can get. I'll use it as a scratching rig and take it from there really. So let's get this first cast out and uh, see if we can get ourselves a ray. That went out smoothly enough. So now I'm going to get the other rig ready, keep an eye on that, and get the second rod out as quickly as possible. Okay, second rig's now ready to go. I'll just do a quick look in front of the camera before I get it rigged up and put out. So this is a two hook loop rig, both baited up with black load. Right, that's the second rig baited up. I'm now going to get that out and then I'll probably have a look at the first one, see how bad that's, uh, whether it's deteriorated or been crabbed out or whatever. So I'll do a bait check.
come back not too bad at all really first bit of good news is there's no weed on on anywhere the lead leader or anything uh, but baits come back completely intact untouched so yeah I'll give that a quick bait change refresh up each time and I'll probably try a strip of herring this time see how we get on with that so, strip of herring going out this time same rig fixed pattern oster about 24 inch pattern oster on there Thankfully, the cloud cover's coming over a bit more as well now. That might make fishing conditions a little bit better. It's just going to be a question of today, keep rotating those baits, keep changing them at regular intervals. If I can get a bite on something, I might change both rods over to that. But I think... Um, fishing one rod with smaller hooks and uh, worm baits and things like that scratching and the other rod for a bigger fish is probably the way to go I just thought I'd run through the baits what I've got with me today so I've got some uh, unwashed squid there I've also got a uh, mackerel fillet there which I can tip off baits with I've got some frozen and black lug which were fresh last week so they're pretty juicy and also a herring and I was and to go with that, I've also got those little anchovy fillets, which I want to try for the ray. So, yep, frozen bait attack today. Don't think it's going to make too much difference, but we'll see. That's how quick it changes. I'm pouring down one second bright bright sun a minute later. I can actually see the um, sea in the edge now has cleared out Ooh, quite a bit since, since I got here this morning. It's very clear now in the edge. There's a band of colour 50 60 yards out which is basically where I'm fishing doesn't seem to have made any difference today right folks time's moving on now it's just gone three o'clock and I've just put my last two recasts out freshened up the baits left hand rod it's got a pulley panel on there now a single hole mini squid as far as I can chuck it right hand rod still a two up flapper got worm baits and a little strip of squid on the other hook so I'll give these 15 or 20 minutes and then probably look to pack up. Doesn't look like it's going to happen. 
that was always going to be a bit hit and miss i'm probably still a bit early i've just been down to sort of wash some of my um, bowls and utensils out in the water and it, it the water temperature is absolutely warm as a bath so yeah we need it to cool down a little bit more before these uh, winter species start moving in i am surprised i haven't had, had at least a whiting today but there you go i'm sure there'll be many more during the winter so if nothing else i, I hope showing you where to park and the uh, venue information will help you out sometime in the future this obviously does fish a lot better than this i've had some really good sessions here loads of flatfish normally um, come down in the evenings you get bass um, yeah just not today unfortunately so thanks again for watching and keep an eye out for the next one hopefully we'll have a few fish